Hey everyone, today we're going to continue making this beautiful rose flower. Here is all the stitches that you'll need to know to continue this pattern. Let's start by the leaves. So usually I use floral wire, but I found it too stiff, so then I switched to aluminum wire. This will just make it easier when we bend it around our stem of our flower. Get some green wool and chain 16. I used yarn that required a 4mm sized hook. Get your wire and line up your chain row and your wire. Then you're going to go into your chains that you just made and in and over the wire to connect the two. This will just su support the leaves and make sure that they're not floppy. So you'll have the same amount of single crochet 16 single crochets as you did chains. It is a bit weird, but it's gonna look really good at the end. Now chain one and turn your work. So for this part, I individually put in the corner each stitch. So for the first part, you're gonna do four single crochets into four different stitches. Then one half double crochet and then two double crochets, but into two different stitches. Only one stitch in each stitch of the previous row, so no increase. And then four treble stitches or treble crochets. So instead of like a double crochet, just twisting your working yarn around once, you're gonna twist it around twice and always pull your working yarn through two loops. Two double crochets again. So now we're just mirroring what's on the other side pretty much. One half double crochet. You're gonna do four single crochets again, but with your last single crochet, you're gonna try and do that over the wire, just so you try to hide the wire and it doesn't poke out. This can be difficult, but you can do it. And then you're gonna just gonna start your pattern all over again. You're gonna do four single crochets, then one half double crochet, and then two double crochets, and then you're gonna do your four treble crochets and the start of it you want it to work over the wire just so it doesn't poke out you can always cut your wire shorter too but if it's too short then it will stick out also why the aluminum wire is so much easier because the floral wire is just too hard to bend after your treble crochets you're gonna do your two double crochets and then you're gonna do your one half double crochet and then to finish off your four single crochets again then you're done your leaf and then you're just gonna finish it off and i usually like to tie the two ends together just to make sure it's secure and will not come loose the wire does poke out a bit but since it's so flexible you can just kind of work your wool around it to make sure it's hidden and it really bounces around a lot <laughs> then i took yarn needle and just worked in the end pieces of the yarn you're going to need three of these leaves or however many you want We're just going to do the bottom of the row so you're going to need some green yarn again and then you're going to do six single crochets into a magic ring usually if you don't know how to make a magic ring you can do four chains and then do the six single crochets into that but we're not going to fully pull our magic ring closed because that's how we're going to attach it to the rows later on so i'll show you that later but when you pull your magic magic ring tight just make sure you leave a little gap which we'll use for later so the reason we're leaving a hole is we're gonna put this through the kebab that holds the flower up and we'll tighten it around that you're gonna do an increase in each stitch so two single crochets in each stitch the next row you're gonna do one single crochet and then one increase or in other words one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch all the way around then you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch this will start to round off our 
bottom of our flower so it's not flat. And chain nine, the reason I do seven plus two is because those two we're just gonna use as two from the hook, you're gonna do a single crochet. So then there's actually just gonna be seven stitches. Then another single crochet, half double crochet, and four double crochets each in their individual stitches. You can do a double crochet or a single crochet to connect it to the bottom of your base. Then do two slip stitches. This will just make it look more flat and then repeat this. There's a lot of fluff in wool and to get rid of this, you're actually gonna let a candle and just hold your piece of work over the candle. Don't bring it too close and this makes it more stiff. You can see in this photo, that it makes it more stiff and just make sure that the flower holds its shape better. I just did this with the rose one and I thought it worked super well just because there's so many layers. You can kind of see it in this photo where if you look at it, it disappears. Just don't keep it too close. And then if you just put on the lid, it puts out the fire. <laughs> I had to lift it to show you that it actually worked. So this is how we'll assemble the flower. The three smaller roses petals will go in the middle and you're always going to cover the seam from the previous one and that's how you start to form the shape thank you so much for watching please come back next time so we can finish it up